okay guys today we are making one of my favorite thing ever dry rice and fried fish i got my tilapia right here i got full fish i got me some onion i got my pepper i got me some corned beef rice oil to fry my fish so now i'm gonna do i'm about to clean my fish with some vinegar and lime juice so apple cider vinegar and i like making this on saturdays or sundays so here we go okay guys now i'm about to season my fish Okay, I got my onion, pepper, and my uh, corned beef already open. I'm gonna blend the pepper and the onion, and I'm gonna make my dry rice sauce. So my rice is done, and I'm not gonna put the um, stuff on top of it because my kids don't like the okra so much. They don't like the bit up all, so I'm gonna cook it like this, and then make the, um, dry rice sauce okay now i got my onion pepper in here i'm gonna let this fry for at least a minute and then i'm gonna add the corned beef in it and then it all cook together for some reason the kids prefer it like this and i don't but i'm cooking for them so okay i added my corned beef mix it with the onion and you guys will let this cook on high heat for five minutes okay now that it's like this I add a little bit of water if you want to at this stage you can mix it with your rice and let it cook together but I'm just gonna let this cook a little bit longer and I may not add it to the rice. I'm just going to put it on top of the rice. So, but I'm going to let it cook again. So the onion and everything can like dissolve into it. Okay, so this is officially done. Right now, if I had the okra, I'll be blending or mixing the okra to mix it with the rice and the corned beef. I'm going to let this stay on here. I'm making my oil fry my fish my fish been marinating for like 30 minutes and i'm gonna fry it next so i don't want the oil to get too hot you can see the onion is getting cooked so i'm gonna start adding my fish in there at this point i know everybody know how to fry and season fish okay guys this is my last batch of fish you want it to look this nice and golden brown mm -hmm. yeah so what i do is i leave it on this one side for like three minutes four minutes or five minutes leave it on this one side let it cook and then i flip it leave it on the other side for three minutes let it cook and then take it out because i want it to be crispy and golden on both sides i threw some onion in there while it's cooking so this is what you're seeing, some onion. Yeah, I put some onion in there and then occasionally I kind of put the oil on top of the fish. Like that, like so. Like so, like that. Yeah. But yeah, this is my last one. My fish is frying. My fish is almost done. My corn is gravy kind of is done. See all the water is dry out of it. My rice is done. So it's done. Yep. 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 And I got my red oil right here. It's gonna be time to eat soon. Okay guys, so basically the kids really enjoyed this food. I'm just trying to show you guys a little snippet of the bowl I made for my boys. But as always, guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to share, comment, subscribe, 
and share with your family and friends. And I hope you get to make this. This was very easy and very simple to make. It took me at least 20 minutes to make everything. I had my chicken um, marinating for 30 minutes. But apart from that, it was very simple. So I'm going to leave you guys with these delicious pictures of the food. And I hope you guys get to make it soon. Okay, guys. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. And I love you guys always. Here are some